everybody. On behalf of my co-host Vistancia, I'd like to welcome you to another edition of Bridging Heaven and Earth. Tonight it really is going to be a show about love. Love, surrender, and the opening of the heart. We have people on tonight who really they're old friends and new friends. I said this, we did a, a highlight tape for some other reason, but we really have old friends and new friends on the show tonight. And uh, we have Claire Hartsong, who was on the show last season, I think, either that or it was two seasons ago, who I would say has one of the most loving presences. I mean, the first time she came on with Stancia said that this woman has the biggest heart she's ever seen. And also she has, a, you know, something else. But really, this woman is just so kind and sweet, and she's going to share with you so much information tonight that it's really going to be a treat. And if you can hear the music behind me now, we have just a wonderful harpist who's got a new album coming out in about a week or so, so we're so excited to have her here playing songs that have never been played anywhere, really. And she's going to play four songs, Lynette Johnson, so there's really going to be a lot of wonderful moments and a lot of feelings of love for us all tonight. So we hope you can join us and stay with us for the whole, for the whole evening, because really there's just tremendous experience available. I can just feel it happening. So to start us off as we usually do at this time, Wisconsin leads us in an invocation and a meditation. So, Wisconsin. And so breathing together, we open the hour, we open the night with an invocation and an invita invitation to Father, Mother, God, to all that is, and to the I am that I am within each of us. We call forth tonight to the entire spiritual hierarchy for this planet and to all of the cosmic masters that overlight us. We call to the galactic masters and we call to the solar masters, to Helios and Vesta. And we open our hearts and invite into this room and into your hearts and into your home the universal masters calling forth to Melchizedek calling forth to all of the angels and archangels that overlight this part, this dear planet. We call to Archangel Michael and Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Zadkiel, to Uriel and Raphael and Yophiel. And tonight we call to Lord Metatron, King of the Electron. And we ask for activations of our ascension. We ask to be overlit and ignited in our deep movement into the ascended consciousness within us. Become as children of God, of sons and daughters, and we ask that as much light that can be cultivated and opened to us this night, let it now begin. We open to receive as much light as we can hold so that we can give so that we can serve, and so that we can join with the masters and become masters in our own rights and move this planet, this dear, incredible planet, into her ascension and aid in our own spiraling, ascending growth and love at this time. And so breathe deeply and connect into the earth and we call forth the Earth Mother to join us this night. And we call to the goddess Isis. And we call to those wondrous beings from the etheric of Venus, known as the Hathors. And we invite this rare energy that is not new to our planet, but may be new to your mind, or not to your heart. These beings have worked with the earth before and they are here now and will be coming through in very many ways this night. We open our hearts, we ask them to come and, and help us in our emotional bodies and feeling the love. We appreciate their gift to Santa Barbara and their gift to all of us and to the planet. 
we invite all of these great beings, all divine beings, and tonight we ask to also merge now with our own I am presence to close the gap on separation and bring that bridge uniting soul personality and presence of God into oneness, into unity, all the way back to source. This is our thirst, this is our quest, this is our job, and this is our happiness and our fullness and our joy. And so just maybe move into your hearts now, move into the quiet, move into a moment of meditation with me, and bless you. Thank you. In the music that you hear behind these words is our beautiful harpist for the evening, Lynette Johnson. She will be playing Pastorel and Gabriel's song. So open your hearts to receive her and this music and the angels that she calls in. Lynette. Thank you. 
That so was really beautiful. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you. So that much. was great. Really, you did it. You <laughs> did it on that one. <laughs> and Alan and I are seated here with Claire Hart Song, and I just like to say that she is she is so multifaceted and she's really multidimensional. She works with many dimensional beings and and in so many ways as a channel, as an author, as um, a workshop facilitator, just a healer. I don't I don't know. You just kind of just do a it all. Great guy. Kind of you do it every you do everything. And I personally have worked with her, um, and I've grown. And so welcome back, Claire. Thank I'm so you. So happy that it's here. Really wonderful to be back again. Really. Now you have shifted a little bit in the focus. Haven't we all? <laughs> yes, we, we have. And yes. I would like to just really move into, if you don't mind, just like with your direction now so that we can begin to talk a little bit about the Hathors and who they are. All right. Well, my joy is opening the heart my own heart to greater and greater flows of love and realization of the God I am within, the I am presence, um, that capacity within self to know our divinity and all that we are and all that we do, allowing that to fully incarnate here and in whatever way I can facilitate the other parts of myself so that we can uh, be and do and celebrate in great joy and ecstasy. <laughs> Amen. That sounds good yes. to me. <laughs> Indeed. Why not? And um, so the shifts have been uh, uh, gradually now introducing more of the omni-universal intergalactic aspects of the I Am Presence. Um, a lot of the focus in, has been and will continue to be with the Ascended Masters of this Earth Plane, particularly Saint Germain and the one that we call Sananda. And, uh, and, and that will continue to be, as well as the energies of the, of the Divine Mother, the Cosmic Mother. And um, the Hathors introduced themselves to me uh, on January the 13th of 1987. So they've been playing in and out of my life and at this particular point um, we're coming to um, a, a space, a threshold that I am choosing to pass over to allow now for their expression to utilize my instrument and um, it's exciting and new and and uh, and how is it manifesting that particular decision to, you know to let that happen how is that it's a, it's bringing me here right right in this moment there you go <laughs> now we've got it. now the uh, half doors I, I read Tom Kenyon's um, I read part of Tom Kenyon's book mm -hmm. trying to kind of you know take a little bit of a crash course and right. and the half doors yes. for your for your coming here yes. and they feel really familiar to me and can you define them for people yes. who are not quite <laughs> <laughs> yes, familiar with them as clear maybe you could talk about where they're from and all right i'm feeling tempted to stand up can i stand up yeah, absolutely right. yeah. okay <clears throat> as you can see this is a, a very diminutive vessel for a very, very large energy, and that's the cosmic joke. Um, the, the Hathors, when they are focused into the physical plane, which is usually in the fourth dimension, are 10 to 15 feet tall. And really, I experience my energy field as, as very vast and big in that way. And I understand that the, the Hathor energy is an aspect of my multidimensional consciousness and I've chosen to step through their specific portal to express um, and I am also an emissary for other civilizations as well. The focus with the Hathors right now is really um, one that delights, my, that I feel very resonant with 
One, because they are beings who are also very much connected with the whales and the dolphins. They are from a parallel universe, uh, the doll universe from whence the dolphins and whales have come. And they are here to assist us in opening ourselves to the full realization of the light beings that we are, the spiritual beings, so that we can move past that notion that we are human beings having a few spiritual experiences to really realizing we are spiritual beings, full light Christed beings. And they work primarily as masters of love and sound. They were invited by Sanat Kamora many, many, many thousands of years ago to assist with this planet because the particular universe that they come from, which is like a parallel to ours, has been uh, precipitated upon many of the same kinds of opportunities for evolution. And they've succeeded. They've been victorious. in, And so they are like our elder brothers and sisters. In fact, it's like our future self coming to us now to assist us and they have great great compassion for the our <laughs> experiences Struggle. our right. yes and they understand with deep deep knowing and they have great alignment also with the lords of creation the elohim and the expression of light sound and color to create this magnificent physical universe in which we God, I am, can play. So we're talking about an ascended civilization. Yes. That, that but, helping us to reach into our own ascension and helping us. And they've, and they've come many times, that right, to the earth to help groups of people to, you know, ascend. And they've worked in the mystery schools. And, yes. And they, they just come and they're, they're just like yes. our, they overlay us. They do. They, they came through, um, the portal of the star Sirius, stepped through our sun, mm -hmm. then went into Venus where they connected very profoundly with Sanat Kamara mm -hmm. and the Kamara energy, which is a shepherding energy. It, it gathers, it collects consciousness when it's time for a completion cycle and the time to birth and introduce a new golden age. So the Hathors have been present in Lemuria, they've been present in Atlantis, facilitating in Egypt the stories of Isis, Osiris, Horus, and Hathor, the great goddess of love, music, and dance. Um, and also they were in influential in Tibet. And now here they are with us again. <laughs> Have they ever left? I mean, or they just aren't as prominent at different times? They come forward at, at key pivotal points of evolution and then they come They've forward in, in what form how do they come forward through their energies affecting people or they don't manifest in a physical form right they exactly. are they are seen clairvoyantly they're inner they're, they are interdimensional but most of their focus in their relationship with humanity is at the fourth transitional fifth when I experience the Hawthors, it's more in terms of their light body. And we could maybe look here at a picture that is beautifully presented and painted by Alex Gray. And uh, this is, a, is a, an illustration of the light body and the um, process that the Hawthors are facilitating for all of humanity right now during this time of ascension is the expansion of ourselves into the knowing that we are pure energy, light, Christed beings who, for, who are full of love. And in, in fact, one of the things that they are really wanting us to be very clear about is in this time of challenge, they are inviting humanity to love and laugh more. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the ways that I really know I'm connected yeah. is I just, a big smile comes forth and I begin to giggle and laugh. And um, they just want, really want us to yeah. not take this 
seriously. So they're really working with the emotional body. Very much and so. Really, really freeing us and helping us to transmute the, the old seriosity. <laughs> yes. yes. Move into the, who, is into the who was the recent guest who said that the dolphins are involved with, you know, lightening human beings up and they that's are. the energy they're bringing? Yes. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Fortune. Elizabeth really Fortune. Awesome. A lot of people yes. say that. There's yes. a connection. And so there is a connection between the dolphins and the half lords? Yes. 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 And what is that connection? The Hathors and um, the whales and the dolphins stem from the same source and their bodies are interchangeable. Their intent and purpose I is see. basically the same. But they also are celebrative of the human experience. So they have also a humanoid body. So they can they understand us and they they love the the the, the miracle, the magic of God representing itself, mm. herself, his self in this form. And do the Hathors also try to you know, bring humanity into group consciousness like the whales do? Yes, very much. To assist us moving out of a lens of duality, it's a particular mm. pair of glasses that we've chosen to wear to see differentiation and compartmentalize and make choices based on contrast and human free will mm -hmm. and they're desiring to assist us to realize that that the hologram of unity has always been present even within the the lens the, as Saint Germain says the skepticals <laughs> of separation <laughs> that's cute mm -hmm. that's so cute. That, that generates doubt and fear and mm -hmm. And separation, and so, feeling of yes. separation. So right. let's talk a little bit about the way that they, the sound, the sound healing that they okay. do, and how how they choose ones like yourself to to bring this through. Mm -hmm. It's important to to realize right now that there are uh, a large, an increasingly growing segment of the population who are waking up and realizing that on a soul level that they have been interconnected with, with the Hathor energy, the Venusian energy, the energies of Sanat Kamara and the evolutionary plan for this planet for a long, long time. And so there are many individuals who are uh, opening to sound healing, to utilizing the vibrational uh, frequencies of light and color um, and they are they're not concerned as you'll discover as we <laughs> experience the the Hathor sounds coming through this instrument about beautiful sounds as we would understand in uh, in terms of performance uh, melody harmony it's they're very desirous of us getting real and authentic and moving through pretense moving through the ego agendas that shield our heart space they're very desirous of us opening fully and completely and healing the wounds of separation and realizing that what is behind all of the masks that we have worn which are divine and wonderful we've created exciting drama for ourselves and with all of that there's an opportunity now to harmonize and elevate and bring the uh, the totality of who we are into a greater and greater presentation that is um, just magnificent just however it is in the moment so is your intention tonight to be able to do that some sound healing yes. some sound experience that's my desire us? to do hey. that all right yeah. so yeah why don't you try to go set up and we'll we'll carry on here until you're right. set up and then right. we'll do it all right wonderful thank you okay so, so I'm looking exciting. forward to this. You know, Claire channels their energies a little bit differently. Although I, I think some people maybe cha channel their words. Uh, she does receive written 
information right, from I saw the it. Yeah, I saw it. Uh, letters. Letters to the editor. <laughs> letters to <laughs> Divine the, letters. So the hassle. Um, and actually, I don't know if you read the things she got today, mm -hmm. but uh, your name and my name was in it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and you know, they, they were talking to her about the blessing that they're actually bringing to the city of Santa Barbara. They're bringing energy into the grids around Santa Barbara. This, this Any night, particular reason? For, just for this night? This, this particular event of having Claire here and having the half her energy coming through is more than just a TV program. It's it's actually a healing for this whole area. And it's an event. it's like Bridget they're like and Earth honestly, is an event. I knew honestly, it. I feel so honored because it's like they are literally lighting up the grids over here and using you and me and everyone else out there and, and TV land that, that is open and willing and allowing. They can't be using this crew. Don't this kidding. crew, everybody <laughs> that, that wants to. <laughs> everybody that wants to help bring that, that through. And you know, the camera picks up her face, uh, the picture that we have of a sculpture in, in an Egyptian temple. And, and you know, that when you look at that face, you know, my when I do, my heart just melts, you know, because it's just like, with sweet beings, you know, here to help us to heal. So, so I'm you have really, a melting heart, anyhow. Let's you right. know that, <laughs> right? Yeah. So I just love the um, I love the energies, the Christ energies, the, the mother energies that come through these ones. So I think we're I think Claire, Claire, Claire is getting ready over there. So whenever the cameras are ready to pick up this event, you know, we're ready. Thank Another you. event on bridging heaven and Thank earth. You. Here we have it. Sit back and enjoy. Okay.
Well, whiskey can't speak, so I'm going to have to. <laughs> That's pretty incredible. Actually, I, w I really would like to say that I would like to speak. I would like to say that um, that was so sacred. It was so so sacred, and I and I want to just say this. I'm saying this to the Hathors. You know, I, I'm I'm so grateful that you that you all have come through Claire and and moved us in this way and that we have this on tape and that we can we can play this and hear this because I feel like my whole like all my whole body was attuned and all the cells I feel like the cells it's like they they, they decided one more time to, to follow the heart you know and and the the path of the heart and I just you know this I can feel I can remember I can almost remember you know Sananda standing Sananda was taught by these ones and I, I saw it you know and it's just it's like I saw that and, and we're being taught by these ones too so. so I guess we're ready for Lynette to play another magical oh, song yeah it's called I Wonder As I Wander. I told her to totally say it like Elmer Fudd, but I think I got it right. I Wonder As I Wander. So, Lynette, whenever you're ready, please. Thank you.
No, that was spectacular um, again. I think this is, this is a splendid night. That's um, all I can say. Did you see what was going on in the monitor, what they were doing with the... A little bit. A little just, bit. It's pretty amazing, wasn't it? Yeah. It, it, it? Can you imagine the way God sees this? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. All the, the beautiful... Light. Mm. So amazing. much magic. <laughs> right. We are magical beings. Let's make use of the little time that we have left on this hour. And um, you, I give you full permission to complete the healing <laughs> that's taking place on me. Um, Your precious tears. <laughs> yeah. We are so wonderful, wonderful, so divine. And it's such a blessed time to be here at this wrapping up of the wondrous package, even while the package is being unwrapped, mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're revealing ourselves to ourselves. Yes, it truly is a blessed time to be. I want to acknowledge my brother, Tom Kenyon, who has been so out on the limb with the hot doors and facilitating. You're them out there now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've taken taken the step, and. Uh, Yes, this book, Tom and Virginia Essene have facilitated the Hathor energy, bringing forth uh, wonderful information from their perspective about how we can bring our lives into balance, stability during this time of great change, even chaos and disillusion. <laughs> how we can remember to breathe and reconnect to our power source, the I Am Presence, the omni-universal I Am Presence, the God within a God within a God within a God that we are, that we're all awakening really? to that realization that we're much more than we've ever thought we are. And that's really exciting. Um, can you quickly can you demonstrate can you take us out of time and space and demonstrate a look just a little touch of this I am union mm -hmm. uh, work that you do with with mm -hmm. us all right I would be happy to do that and maybe just to begin if the cameras could go over to the uh, pictures that are on the bulletin <clears throat> this is a, a workbook that Don't is pick it up there. You can no yeah. right this is a workbook that is in process that I have been taking out with me all around the country as I am facilitating uh, individuals who are calling forth what St. Germain calls the I Am Union. It's a process of bringing all creation, all energies in the experience of separation back into the union brought back into the total embrace of the father mother god source and shifting from the lens of moving over to the right the lens of duality and the lens of unity which many of you will recognize is based in the flower of life matrix which supports the uh, expression of God in form, all that is, is based in this sacred geometry. And the hologram that was <clears throat> used to create a lens of duality is based on this, on the lens of unity. It's been, it's present with us all of the time. It's just a slight tilt of that hologram, and that's all that's re required of us right now, is to just choose to see differently. And the lens of unity is the Christ consciousness that we are all awakening into. The, the pyramid of I am and the Aum is the fiery furnace of the heart center, our whole bodies as a unified chakra system, a temple of full God realization is uh, coming into uh, play here. And so when we walk through these experiences together, 
it's a literal shift occurs as we choose to tilt that old, old pattern in which we've perceived ourselves. And we've been in this process of choosing either or as though one choice was good and the other was bad. And shifting... Right, you were talking earlier, duality. We always thought duality. And, exactly. and then there was oneness and then there's... Right. Uh, All-encompassing experience. Yes. Right. So perhaps you could just, for a moment, um, experience that your hands are are like the um, scales in which the polarity of opposites are held, and you might consider, for example, love as one polarity, and place that into one of your hands. And in the other hand, the opposite polarity, which would most likely be fear or hate. And experience that as a very real illusion that we have participated in, in the third dimensional exactly. scheme of things. To, to know the God I am by having the contrasting mirror of the God I am not. And in order to know the full uh, limitless nature of our beings as love we've come here to into this hall of mirrors to masquerade as what love is not <laughs> how brave how I, brave we are and how good a job we do at it we are a miracle we're we masters are masters of limitation <laughs> we are it's and fantastic they, <laughs> how, how far we've come with really, so little <laughs> truly and the, the solar plexus chakra is the lens of duality. It's the crowning glory of the ego aspect that has uh, facilitated this experience. And as we choose to move into Christ consciousness, which is the unified, all-seeing eye of God, who embraces all energy, right. who's vulnerable. Nothing's outside of that. Absolutely. Right. It's all contained within and without that it is an embracing right. of the, the totality. So as the heart center is opened, and this is where the Hathors and, and the Masters are coming in to facilitate the awakening so that we can feel and, that, and not just emote, not just react with the mind compartmentalizing our feeling and putting judgments on it as good emotions and bad emotions and that places in place of denial. Rather, we're coming to a place where we can be in full appreciation and honor and embrace of these energies because there's a gift on, on, in both right. sides of the coin of the one self, the one I am that we are. And as the heart opens and that Christed light and knowingness, this automatically is lifted into a whole new posture. And there was one who demonstrated this. Some perceived it as a crucifixion. And in truth, he was totally wide in knowing, open. wide oh. open. Oh. Father, yeah, forgive see. them, for they, they know, know not what they, they do. do. And right. he was allowing that fear-based energy, that old skeptical lens to be totally embraced into every atom and cell of his being and to be reborn into a new expression. So you can, I see you've already brought your hands together, but yeah, just bringing this, I'm right, yeah, right, right, just laser, no time warp. And the show's over in 20, <laughs> I want to way to definitely end the show. come into oneness before the really, show is God over. Really, God bless you for coming, yeah, thank thanks, you. Let thanks, us continue Lynette. in this oneness. And also, if there's any questions, please call me, 805-687-2053, Claire's thank got you. workshops, Lynette's got tapes. God bless you. you, love Lynette. is here, thank experiencing you. it, good night.